Okay, this video is for carburetor cleaning on a Toro Briggs & Stratton engine carburetor. And I'm going to show you the reassembly. And by looking at the reverse, you'll get the disassembly. Um, everything's apart now. And I've got the carburetor right here. I have been using some carb cleaner. To clean it out and I have been using this twist tie with uh, the plastic pumped back to kind of pass through the jets. Uh, I did actually use some PB blaster also to spray through the jets. I didn't have the carb cleaner in the uh, aerosol can. Uh, I'm not sure if the PB blaster is okay to use but I poured it what I did after that fact was I would just pour the carb cleaner into the jets <clears throat> and now it's been sitting there I poured it into all the different jets and it just sat there for several minutes the uh, main jet on the bottom of the tank of the uh, carburetor bowl carburetor bowl I actually was able to just put that underneath the carb cleaner I know I did find some sediment in the bowl, so that might have been the problem. The symptoms on the lawnmower is that it would start but not run. It seemed as though it was getting some fuel but not enough to actually do anything. It seems to be quite common. The spark plug was dry. So I figured, okay, I've never cleaned this carburetor out, so I might as well do it now. So I'll do the reassembly here. So the first step on the reassembly is going to be um, putting this float, the needle valve, or the seat, whatever that's called, and the float will reattach on here. That's no big deal. And um, then I'll put the ball on, okay? And I'll, I'll use the paws. Okay, there's the float back on. Uh, there's no special tools required here. That uh, pin actually just slides right out. Float seems to be working fine. I should also mention I use my, this little small inflator with um, this attachment to basically blow out all of the jets. Uh, I blew out all the carb cleaner that I had been poured into them. Uh, just to start the reassembly, just to clear as much of that out as possible. Other than that, I have wiped off this O-ring. I didn't try removing it because I thought it might break into two pieces because it's the original one and I, I don't think I need to replace that. I just kind of cleaned it off with my finger. Okay, next step, I'm going to put the bowl and this 13 millimeter nut onto the bottom. This I've blown out, or I will blow it out before I put it on, and also I ran that little wire through it. Okay. Okay, put the bowl on. Uh, I put that on snug. Snug is the key. Don't tighten it as much as you can. I just want to compress the gasket a little bit. It could always be tightened actually once it's completely back on if it needs to be, but anyway, I made it snug, it should be fine. So the next step, I'm going to start reassembling this. You will notice here that on the disassembly, this had a certain component here that would not come out from underneath the housing, and I, I thought it might after I had disconnected it, but I just taped it in position here just in case there's anything critical on the inside. I don't want it to become misaligned. I thought it would slide right out, but this it's apparently connected somehow to something inside there, and I didn't want to have to take this sh shroud off. Okay, so I'll, I'll slide this on. On for the next step. Okay, now you can see here that this linkage takes a right angle and this piece here which is the, the throttle plate um, it's made of rubber so you don't want to snap it um, 
as you're putting the carburetor back on, you have to put it at an angle. First, I make sure that I cleaned out the hole and the uh, linkage so that they wouldn't get caught up. I did that when I removed it by spraying some cleaner on it, okay, because it's a tight fit and you have to snake it out. It has to make that 90, two 90 degree turns that way, so you want to be careful with that. And um, carburetor now is loose. I've just finger tight put in these two bolts that I put it, uh, I, I've been using 3 8 which seems to hold it okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna snug that up. I'm gonna align this m linkage. I have another linkage here uh, that I have to worry about. So that, and then there's another final linkage. So I'll do these one at a time just so you can see. Right now I'm just gonna snug the nuts up, okay? Okay, I, I snug these on. Start them with your fingers so you don't strip the threads out and then don't over tighten them, okay? And are on snug. Next, I'm going to snap this linkage onto here, and this actually is a bolt that goes down through here. And um, I can almost do that with one hand, but yeah, I might be able to get that started anyway. This bolt goes here, and That pin just slides through here. Okay, and this is uh, seems to be a choke plate, and I can remove this. Hopefully, this linkage. This might very well have been unnecessary, but. I did it just so, as a precaution. So that linkage seems to be working fine. I'm not sure exactly what in, inside is, is driving this uh, or how that actually works. I don't know, but it seems to be um, the way that it was originally. It only goes back together one way. Okay, I'm going to snug this up. Then I'm going to reattach this uh, spring. Actually, I might be able to, to show this one. This one, I, I had to st stretch this a little bit. To, a little bit, I had to stretch it to get it over. Not that I think it will pop off, but the original curvature was a little too tight. I did have to stretch it a little bit. Okay, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tighten this bolt up a little bit, okay? Okay, next step is another one of these linkages. It connects um, to something right there. And then right here, okay, I can't do it with one hand, so I'll use pause. Okay, that springs in place. And everything seems to be moving smoothly the way that it was. So next step, I think, is going to be this air cleaner component. Uh, it did have a gasket on it. I'm going to reuse the gasket. I just cleaned it off. Things get very, very dirty here. Uh, there's two bolts that hold it there. There's a third bolt here. There is a, um, I guess I'm not sure if that it looks like some type of a breather tube. Okay, I'm going to bolt this piece back on and I'll use pause. Okay, I've got those all in. I started them finger tight, and now they're snug. Uh, on disassembly, put cl cleaner on the back side of all three of these. All the back side of these three screws comes out on the back, and if there's a lot of dirt and corrosion, if, if you try removing them, that dirt could cause the threads to bind. You might end up breaking something there. So this looks fine. I think the next piece is going to be this tube that goes to the gas tank. I'll fasten it on this end. Okay, that seems to be fine. I probably would have been a little easier to actually put that on before I did this, so the order on this is not necessarily precise, but this seems to be working. Okay, next step I think will be the gas tank. 
I have right here, I, the gas tank is emptied. Now you notice that the cap on this one, uh, it, there was an accident where it actually ended up getting run over by the lawnmower. It did have a cut in it. I've now held it back together with this uh, tie. Previously, there was I just used a piece of tape wrapping it around, and I noticed that over time, the tape was weakening, and the, and it wasn't holding it snug. And there is a seal uh, gasket on the underside of this, so it might have been loose, and that might have been a problem with some evaporation or what have you. But I noticed this twist die holds it tight, and I think this is going to work better. Okay, so this um, actually is, is going to go on with this nut here, which I'll just take off. I, sometimes I put the nuts where they go. And, um, it's also going to get screwed in at the top with these three here, here, and there's another one here on the far side. Okay, so I'll hit pause and I'll configure this and bolt it in. Okay, I reattached the gas hose from the gas tank. Uh, I used 3 eighths of an inch for that bolt there, and I used 8 millimeter on these. They might not be the exact sizes. They seem to work okay. Uh, next, I can, put, I can put on this, um, this top piece. It's held on by these two screws here, and the pull that also, by accident one day, managed to get run over by the lawnmower. Um, I, I can feed that through here and then just screw that on. Okay, I screwed that on. Uh, this I'll need to feed up through the uh, handle, that little hole, a little butt. And now I'm ready for the uh, air cleaner and the air cleaner cover. This air cleaner, when I took it off, was, I mean, really loaded. I brushed it out. It's still very dirty. Probably needs a new one. But for now, of course, I just want to get this thing running. Um, this just snaps in here, and then there's a bolt for it. Okay, uh, I screwed that on. The screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Now I'll feed this through, then I'll add gas. Okay, I, I reattached the uh, spark plug. Actually, I gave it a few pulls before I realized I hadn't reattached it. Okay, everything seems to be okay. Now, I should say that I use the regular gas. Um, it does have some ethanol in it. And I don't always keep the gas uh, less than 30 days old. I do try to run it dry at the last time before putting it away for the winter. But it's probably over 10 years old and probably what happened was the passages in the carburetor just get clogged up. It's probably unavoidable. Uh, there was sediment in there too though, so it's possible that some solid material might have made it through this crack, possibly. I don't know for sure. Or it's possible that gasoline just has a certain amount of sediment. There's no filter. I noticed another guy on the YouTube said he was going to put a filter on his line because there was no filter and he had sediment in his. Um, but for now, I just wanted to get this guy working, and it's, it seems it seems good based on what I just saw it running. Normally, it wouldn't run like that. I had taped the um, dead man's handle there just so it would run. Now I took that off, and that's the end of the video here, and I hope this helps you out.